Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, everybody. And welcome to my online class, dear students. Hope all of you are well by the grace of Allah. I am also fine. Dear students, in the previous class, I discussed on the subject verb agreement. I discussed some rules of this topic. Today, I would like to add some more rules of this topic. So, get ready with exercise note and pen to note down the rules. Now, I'd like to start my class. The topic is subject verb agreement. Student, dear students, today's first rule is if two titles are added with N and before both titles, if you find D, then it will be considered to be plural subject. For example, Look at the board. First title, the atmosphere. The second one is secretary. And D is used before both titles. And that's why the total subject have been has been plural. And the, as the subject is plural, the verb will be plural. The auxiliary verb will be A. Because two different subtitles, if D is used before both title, then it will be two different subject, two different title, two different subject, two different person. That's why this subject have been plural and the verb will be plural. The headmaster and the secretary be present here the answer will be R and if you find that D is used before one title and another title before another title if you find that D is not used then the subject will be singular for example the and secretary B present here D is used before one title and the next title there is no you D available here. D has not been used before this title. D has not been used before the second title. If you find this type of sentence, then you will have to think that the total subject is singular. Title is two, but the person is one. One person has two titles. It will be considered singular subject. As the subject is similar, verb will be similar. Verb will be is. Answer will be is. My dear students, have, hope you have understood. Note it down. Then come to the next row.
there. <coughs> if there is any adjective, rich is an adjective, and if you find the before the adjective, then it will be plural common noun. It will be plural common noun. If you find any adjective, any if you find the before any adjective, then it will be you it will be plural common noun. As the subject is plural, the verb will be plural. The rich are not always happy. Here will be are the pious be happy. Here pious is an adjective because of be it has been plural. Bar will be plural. Ah. Understood, dear students? Then, if two subjects, two subjects are Join with and we together with as well as along the Accompanied by if two subjects are joined with these conventions, these linking words, then then verb will be used. According to the first subject, first subject, for example, he as well as his friends. Be with the bracket. Be responsible. Here, he first subject, first subject, his friends second subject. Both have been have been added, join me as well as. So if you find this type of question or sentence. In your question paper, then you will have to answer according to this rule. First subject will be considered, right? Verb will be used according to the first subject. So, what will be? I hope you have understood what the answer will be. The answer will be is according to the first subject. He, as well as his friends, is responsible. Is noted down. Then come to the next row. If two subjects Join me <laughs> either or neither 
no then verb will be used according to the last subject or second subject For example, neither he nor his friends be responsible here. First subject he, second subject his friends. Then according to the rule you will have to use a. Ah. Neither he nor his friends are responsible. Yes, students. I hope that all of you have understood this rule. Then. I would like to get another example. Yes, students. Here, one of the boys have or has within bracket which verb will be selected. Your verb, which verb you will select. Here, you will have to know the head word, the main subject. In the previous class, I discussed how to find out the head word before first preposition. Before first preposition, there will be head word. One is head word here, one main subject here. And according, if the subject is singular, there will be has. And if the subject is plural here, head word is plural, then the word will be plural, have. Before if the head word is singular, third person singular, then it will be has. And if the subject or the main subject or the head word is plural, but will be plural, have. Also, after I, there will be have. First person. After first person, there will be have. So, here the answer will be has. As the Subject is singular, third person singular. Dear students, now about today, I will be appeared before you. I will appear before you in the next class with new topic. Till then, keep well and abide by the rules of health. Thank you so much.